everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here. And if you remember, uh, because it had iced over my my little trick for managing the deer, uh, hadn't been working very well. Um, two of the uh, offenders, I believe, are the two offenders. We have pretty much narrowed down who they are. And um, last year they were fawned. This year they've been released by moms and yeah um it's i believe a brother and sister duo i could be wrong and it could be a sister sister duo but anyway they've been running amok they are so bold they come right up against the house they actually got into my tulips take a look each one of these bowls had tulips in them each one had tulips except that one right there is the one that the tulips just kind of burst into flame and rotted i don't know what they did but they pulled up all my tulips. They were all starting to bud and bloom. You see the bulbs. They didn't really want the bulbs. They just, you know. And some of them they pulled right out of the pot. And you can see they ate, you know, and then left them. And of course they left us, you know, a pile of poo where they stood here for a moment. But it was two of them. You can see their uh, footprints coming right up to the edge. And their footprints go right out there to that grassy area so anything that didn't have the stinky stink on it that they didn't like they went for it anything we were very fortunate that um, we don't have a lot planted out here they didn't get any more greens the greens are actually growing and start starting to seed the ones from last year um, they're going to, to seed and we're just going to, you know, help them out and drop some seed out alongside whatever's um, over flowering so that can become our established collard bed. We've already done a little bit of extra fertilizing. So the deer aren't really too pleased with the collards. Um, we put out a couple of squash early to see what's going to happen. I think it's gray squash. So um, we put a few things out but they have the stink on them and the... the the deer don't want those things so that's good but yeah I'm gonna have to uh, get my spreader out and go really hardcore with the cayenne and the garlic yeah they're not gonna win they are not gonna win now these tulips we had gotten to put with the ones that are um, on the outer perimeter of the yard but um, I might replace the ones that the deer ate with these and go and get some more because I did not know all of them were going to turn out to be this beautiful fuchsia color which if you didn't know um, tulips are my favorite flower so anyway I've got um, some pixie queen sunflowers here I'm just gonna let them get a little bit more uh, um, root it into these little peat pots and then I plan on getting rid of them. Now look at this. This time has taken off overnight. I left them out here all night. Um, it looks like maybe something got into them. Maybe a, a bug of some sort. Wasp maybe. Who knows. Because um, there's dirt on the cardboard. But that does not matter to me. What matters to me is things are growing. These green zebra tomato sprouts down here, they came from Swarmstead Bruce, and I'm really, really excited about them. So, yeah, things uh, out here, uh, we definitely are getting seeded and ready, and I'm excited. So, the deer are not coming through here. You can... You can see there are no fresh tracks here they haven't come through here since I sprayed the last bit of stinkies and my stinkies now include even more garlic powder because they seem to, to hate it a lot yeah they walk the perimeter of this these are all fresh uh, tracks right here so they walk to the perimeter and cut around just outside the boundary where we also <laughs> I had a, a little bit of help but um, we made a, a urine boundary out here a human urine boundary and the deer walking that boundary 
they're walking all the way around it. I think I might do um, a little more of throwing some uh, human urine into the mix too instead of just on the outside since those deer did not want to go in. They didn't want to cross it. It's like this invisible force field which is kind of funny when you think about it because uh, you know look at that. They stayed right outside the perimeter. So garlic and cayenne work good, but human urine seems to work better.